Hello everyone, you are welcome back to Westnos Tutorial. In this video, we will be talking about Greek classical literature. This, this topic is uh, from Polytechnic English Literature, but it will help you in other exams as well. So here are the notes we will go through. Uh, first, we will see the introduction, uh, key features. Later, this PDF has, uh, you know, three writers, Plato, Aristotle and Homer as well. And uh, key terms, are some important uh, writers and much more. So let's complete this one. So Greek uh, classical literature forms the foundation of Western literary tradition and includes works that have shaped modern literature, philosophy, uh, philosophy drama and political theory. It emerged during the classical period of ancient Greece, roughly between 5th uh, and 4th centuries BCE and continues to influence literary and cultural thoughts today. If we talk about key features of Greek classical literatures, we can go through themes, genre and uh, influence. Themes are human nature, heroism, the god, fate, morality and justice you will see and in general epic, poetry, tragedy, comedy and historical writings. Influence, it had a profound uh, impact on Roman literature, Renaissance and modern western culture as well. So if we talk about major forms of Greek classical literature, you will see their epic poetry and tragedy. In epic poetry, you, uh, you can take uh, Homer's Iliad and Odyssey for example. These epic poems narrate heroic deeds and mythical events reflecting the values of Greek society. So heroism was, uh, you know, in center. Themes, heroism, honor and wrath of uh, gods and human struggle. Tragedy, major planets, you will say Asylus, Sophocles and uh, Euripides. Uh, characteristics, if we uh, want to know about characters, explores human sufferings, moral dilemmas and the tragic flaws, Hamartia of the protagonist. Uh, examples, Sophocles, Oedipus, uh, Rex, focus on uh, uh, fate, hubris, and limitation of human knowledge. Asylus, uh, Agamemnon, themes of justice and revenge and di uh, divine intervention. If we take examples from comedy, you will uh, see uh, Aristophanes is the key figure. Uh, he wrote satirical, often mocking political politicians, gods, and uh, societal norms. Some of uh, Lysistrata, a comedic play about women uniting to end a war philosophical writings uh, some of the major philosophers we know socrates plato and aristotle we will see all these writers in literary criticism as well so here we will be focusing only literary part and there we will focus on uh, uh, criticism and uh, theories part Plato's uh, dialogues here if we talk about the focus uh, point ethics metaphysics and politics Plato's dialogues conver conversation between Socrates and other discussing justice knowledge and the ideal states so these are key points you should know and you should take out from this PDF and uh, you should mug up historical writings uh, Herodotus known as the father of history uh, his work history is documented in Greco-Persian Wars and uh, Thucydides did us his account of the uh, Peloponnesian War uh, emphasized uh, human actions and decisions rather than divine uh, interventions. Key contributions of Greek classical uh, literature, they are some uh, drama and philosophy, poetry and historiography. Uh, sorry, historiography. And uh, you will see all these examples in uh, further works. Like uh, there are some of the important works we should know. First is Iliad by Homer. Uh, this is an epic poem about the Trojan War, focusing on the hero Achilles and themes of honor, wrath, and fate. Second uh, important work is Odyssey by Homer. This is a sequel to Iliad. This epic follows Odysseus' journey home after the Trojan War, exploring themes of adventure, cunning and uh, perseverance. Oedipus Rex by Sophocles. This is a tragedy that tells the story of Oedipus, who unknowingly kills his father and marries his mother, exploring fate, free will and tragic flaws. Next is uh, Antigone. This work is by Sophocles, a continuation of the Oedipus uh, myth. This play addresses the conflict between individual morality and state law. Prometheus Mound by Asylus. 
this is a tragedy about uh, titan prometheus who defies gs this is god by giving fire to humanity symbolizing rebellion and uh, suffering the persian by asylus the earliest uh, surviving greek tragedy based on historical events which portrays the persian defeat in the greco persian war media by euripides a tragedy centered on media's revenge against her unfaithful husband highlighting themes of passion uh, next one is the frogs by aristophanes a comedic play where the god dionysus descends from uh, to the underworld to bring back a great tragedian providing uh, insight into greek drama and criticism next is histories by herodotus this is a foundational work of history a uh, chrono chronicles of greco persian wars and includes uh, ethnographic and uh, cultural description of various ancient peoples the republic by plato this is famous work this is a philosophical dialogue that uh, discusses justice and idol state and the philosophic philosopher king laying the groundwork for western political thoughts 10 important writers from greek classical literature you should know first is homer known for iliad and odyssey contributions established the epic genre foundational influence on greek and western literature second is sophocles known for oedipus rex and antigone contributions uh, innovated tragedy with complex characters and moral dilemmas Euripides Euripides is known for media and uh, the bacche contributions challenged uh, societal norms he challenged societal norms explored psychological depth and human emotions in tragedy Asylus known for Prometheus Mound and uh, Prestia contribution father of Greek tragedy introduced to second actor enriching dramatic structures Aristophanes known for the clouds and uh, Lysistrata a uh, master of ancient greek comedy known for his uh, political satire and uh, social commentary plato known for the republic and symposium contribution laid the foundation of western philosophy explored ethics politics and metaphysics through dialogues herodotus herodotus is known for histories and uh, contribution father of history documented history historical events with a blend of fact and legend and uh, Thucydides known for history of the Peloponnesian war and he introduced a rigorous fact based approach to history focusing on human actions and over divine interventions and if we talk about the you know the question type of questions which will asked in the exams are like the name of the writer the name of the books their ideas and uh, you know the themes these are the uh, you know points where you will be asked from next uh, writer is sappho sappho is known for poems fragments one of the earliest and most famous female poet known for her lyric poetry about love and personal emotions L next one is aristotle known for poetics and uh, nicomachean ethics contribution influential philosopher laid out principles of drama rhetoric and ethics his poetics is uh, foundational for literary criticism now we will uh, see uh, some detailed notes about uh, plato aristotle and homer so first one is uh, plato plato uh, he lived between 427 to 347 he was a foundational figure in western philosophy known for his dialogues and his influence on ethics politics and metaphysics a student of uh, socrates and uh, he was plato was a student of socrates okay and uh, and the teacher of aristotle okay so he was a student of uh, socrates and a student of uh, aristotle so you can remember in this way or you can write down in this way asp as soon as possible you can uh, uh, remember in this way okay asap so next uh, plato founded the academy in Athens and developed theories that continue to shape philosophical discourse. Some of the key works by Plato. First one is the Republic. It discusses justice. This is about justice and idol state. So question will be like uh, in which work the idol state is uh, described by Plato. So it is uh, the the Republic and the philosopher king introduces the allegory of the cave and the theory of forms. 
he has given the theory of forms in this work so you should know this one symposium uh, explores love love is eros so uh, sometimes terms are asked like eros what is eros according to plato it was love uh, through a series of speeches uh, culminating in socrates interpretation of love as pursuit of beauty and wisdom uh, phaedo explores the nature of the soul and the immortality of the soul contains socrates arguments on life after that meno introduced the concept of recollection uh, animesis so animesis is uh, the con the concept of recollection you should know this one all right uh, these are important and in which book he has given it it was meno and debates whether virtue can be taught apology apology Pl plato's account of socrates trial and defense of philosophy philosophical con uh, concepts if we talk about by plato okay theory of forms first he gave th theory of forms and you should know definition plato's uh, metaphysical theory that non material abstract forms or ideas represent in the most accurate reality forms eternal unchanging and perfect version of uh, concept and objects the that is beauty and justice physical world imperfect copies of these ideal forms and last one is key dialogues the republic allegory of cave where humans only perceive shadows of the true forms allegory of the cave concept uh, this found in the republic it illustrate plato's views of physical world versus the world of forms and next one is cave represent the world perceived thoughts the through the senses okay so what is cave according to you know the in in this concept allegory of the cave so it is the the world perceived through the senses he called it cave shadows represent illusion or limited understanding ascent the philosopher's journey from ignorance shadows to knowledge and the world outside the cave sun symbolizes the form of the god and highest form of knowledge next one is philosophical king plato's the idol ruler described in the republic ruler the philosophical philosopher who understands the forms and uh, is therefore best equipped to rule justly next one is governance plato believed that all, only those who grasp true knowledge should govern society tripartite theory of the soul okay so who has given this uh, uh, you know the theory it was plato okay uh, components uh, rational spirited and uh, appetitive part of the soul rational seeks truth and wisdom aligned with the reason spirited seeks honor and victory aligned with emotions and appetitive uh, desire physically pleasure and material go goods harmony a just individual or society is one in which these three parts are balanced with reason reason uh, reason guiding so these are the terms you should know the academy the first institution of higher learning in western civilization founded by plato in uh, 387 bce so this is key term purpose to educate future future leaders and philosopher notable students aristotle so aristotle was there okay platonic love platonic love definition a deep non-physical bond that uh, transcend physical attraction aiming at the love of wisdom and pursuit of uh, truth key dialogue symposium where uh, love is viewed as viewed as a ladder leading from physical attraction and appreciation of pure idol beauty now let's talk about political philosophies by plato first one is ideal state he gave uh, idea of ideal states what an ideal state looks like a structure based on uh, three power tight theory of the soul we have uh, you know learned this uh, just now so you must know this one the ideal state of divided into three classes philosophical king guardians and producers okay so philosophical uh, philosopher kings are like the rational leaders guardians the spirited warriors and uh, producers the appetitive workers and craftsmen we have uh, you know seen the definitions of these these three justice achieved when each class performs its appropriate role in society without interfering with others critic of democracy he didn't like democracy 
okay he criticized it plato was critical of uh, athenian democracy associating it with disorder and incompetence reason he believed that democratic government allowed unqualified people to rule leading to chaos and justice so you can see it is true uh, to some extent today ethics and morality theory of knowledge epistemology he uh, also described this one so theory of knowledge is called epistemology you should know recollection and uh, for recollection he has given a term anam uh, anamnesis okay uh, you should know this one plato believed that knowledge is process of remembering the eternal truth eternal truth forms that the soul knew before birth and knowledge versus opinion true knowledge is unchanging and tied to the forms while opinion is based on sensory perception and is flawed virtue definition for plato virtue is form of knowledge four cardinal virtues he talked about first is wisdom pertains to the rational part of the soul second is uh, courage and third one is temperate uh, temperance and justice wisdom pertains to the rational part of the soul pertains to the spirited part of the soul and pertains to balance of desires and the souls and justice ensures that all parts of the soul and society function in harmony influence of uh, plato philosophical legacy plato's influence extends to ethics metaphysics epistemology and political theories so every everywhere you can see even uh, in criticism part we will study him uh, influence on christianity his ideas on the eternal soul and their world of forms influenced early christian thoughts as well influence on western philosophy aristotle his student developed many of plato's ideas either refining or critiquing them he also crit critiqued his uh, own teacher key terms forms ideas eternal perfect realities that physical objects emitted uh, epistemology study of knowledge plato's theory focused on uh, innate knowledge and the difference between opinion and true knowledge philosophical uh, philosopher king the ruler in plato's ideal state possessing wisdom and the understanding of the forms uh, anamnesis uh, the theory that learning the recollection of knowledge the soul already possesses the academy plato's school was the academy so these are key terms you should know about plato all right and you should uh, learn these things when you get this pdf consider the first university in western world so these are the ideas now in next uh, part okay this uh, in this video we are just studying till plato in next part we will see aristotle and other writers so see you in next video till then goodbye take care